what is pet scan why to be done when to be done and what to expect from pet scan we will be discussing all these questions but the discussion will be more on technical terms mainly for the doctors so friends i am dr swagat das head of the department nuclear medicine and molecular theranostics sarvoday hospital sector art faridabad as you all know pet scan it's already a well established modality in medical imaging since last uh, 20 years in india there are it's a as you know it's a hybrid modality pet ct pet mri so you get the best out of both the modalities you get the best of pet scan and best of radiology in terms of ct and mri so you get both information anatomical information from ct or mri and physiological or functional information from pet scan as you all know in pet scan what we use a most common radio tracer we use is fdg sometimes fdg pet ct and pet ct they are being used uh, interchangeably when we say pet ct many uh, take it as fdg pet ct so fdg is a versatile radio tracer it is being used since last 20 years in, in india and we use fdg not only for oncological diagnosis and oncological management and lot of non oncological indications also in oncology that means cancer the indication of fdg pet ct are in the diagnosis in the pre treatment staging treatment response evaluation and post treatment pre staging and non oncological indications the most common cause is fever of unknown origin that is the most common non oncological indication of fdg pet ct the other indications are neurology cardiology and psychiatric diseases in neurology brain pet for dementia for movement disorders and in uh, cardiology for uh, myocardial uh, viability scan post infarct and in psychiatric evaluation like drug addiction and etc so now we'll uh, try to find out when you should get a pet scan to your patient fdg pet scan i mean it's already well well established in many cancers fdg pet ct is being it can be used in all the stages in various stages of diagnosis and treatment but still there are few indications when pet ct is not being used or not being used adequately we'll uh, discuss uh, uh, i mean cancer wise uh, oncological indications wise uh, the traditional literature says fdg pet ct is not useful for uh, liver cancer hepatocellular carcinoma it is not useful for renal cell carcinoma but when we do pet scan along with a diagnostic quality ct you get whole lot of information in a fdg pet ct scan rather than getting a ct scan or mri scan alone in liver cancers like hepatocellular carcinoma we we all know we 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 need to uh, do a triphasic ct scan to see the perfusion pattern and is there any portal vein abnormality portal vein thrombosis or not in a pet scan also simultaneously triphasic ct scan can be done so when you advise for your scc patient or rcc patient pet scan you please advise along with pet triphasic ct scan in renal renal angio ct renal angio that these both can be done in the same sitting and you get all the information in the same sitting like one stop approach there are many gynecological malignancies which are traditionally non fdg avid or low fdg avid like ovarian malignancy some stomach uh, cancers like uh, mucinous cancer all in fact all mucinous serous these malignancies they are traditionally low fdg avid or non fdg avid but in such case if you think getting fdg pet scan is of no use no absolutely no when you get a fdg pet ct scan it is a whole body scan so when you get a whole body scan done prior to treatment when you are planning to treat with a curative intent you get whole lot of ideas whole lot of information that you can further use in the treatment of the patient 
another information is fdg is not the only radio tracer available now now we have organ specific and tumor specific radio markers like psma prostate specific membrane antigen psma pet scan for prostate cancer gallium dotanox scan for neuroendocrine tumor gallium exendin for insulinoma gallium trivaxin for uh, adenocarcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma so there are whole lot of radio tracers available right now in in our armamentarium which for which we can uh, really use to get the maximum benefit to the patient now another radio tracer is fdopa it's a versatile radio tracer it can be used for parkinson parkinsonism to differentiate between idiopathic parkinsonism and uh, uh, parkinsonian like syndromes it can be used for medullary carcinoma thyroid it can be used for neuroendocrine tumor so my basic purpose of this video is to uh, educate all of you that pet scan is not that only cancer number 1 whole lot of non malignant conditions can also be diagnosed on a pet scan and pet scan is not all about fdg there are whole lot of radio tracers psma and totana trivaxin exendin there are whole lot of radio tracers now coming to another most important invention on in nuclear medicine that is the talk of the town that is fapi pet f a p i fapi that is fibroblast activated protein inhibitor so as you know fdg is a very non specific radio tracer it can be taken up by the malignancy it also goes into the uh, non malignant infection inflammation tuberculosis and in indian context when the tb is more prevalent many times so we also uh, get into dilemma whether the fdg avid lesion is uh, really malignant or that is tubercular so in such case fapi pet may help that is fibroblast activated protein inhibitor fapi is usually being labeled with gallium 68 radio tracer and it is available in india fapi it can be exploited for whole lot of cancers now it's not only for diagnosis pet ct scan can be used for biopsy purpose as well when you tend to biopsy a lesion you should know what is the most active area of that lesion so that the yield of biopsy sensitivity of biopsy increases so in that case fdg pet labeled biopsy can also be done which is known as metabolic biopsy so basically pet scan when you get a pet scan for your patient in a suspected or a known malignancy or any non oncological indication you get more wiser you get more information that you can treat the patient more effectively and the chance of patient being getting cured also increases so thank you so much for watching us and we will be getting back with more lot of information more lot of videos on this thank you so much